to give a little bit more detail around myself, obviously I've explained my cancer. Uh, I have also experienced other um, what I would call indirect and direct traumas or, or real challenges or levels of adversity. Uh, firstly, uh, indirectly, um, I suffered uh, or had to deal with and, and look after um, a very close family member who had uh, clinical depression and managing that and dealing with that has very much shaped who I am, um, both positively and negatively. Um, and I found trying to understand and mentally model um, or re-mentally model myself to understand the outcome of that experience and, and why I am the way I am and how I live has been an incredibly enlightening one. Um, further to that, I've also had a direct trauma uh, in that my second son um, was born uh, very prematurely. And for four months, we were told uh, it was very touch and go every live. Uh, then he would have behavioural and physical issues to contend with. Um, fast forward to nine years, um, he's living extremely uh, well and happy life. Um, he is and has uh, a deafness in one of his ears. But other than that, uh, he seems to be uh, very well. So again, these are experiences that I've, I've, I've encountered, uh, understood, understood the impact they've had on me, um, and not just me, but those around me, and how I can best live for them, uh, for myself, um, to deal with them on a regular basis. You know, we're constantly triggered in life with uh, outside influences. Um, and it's about how I understand myself to deal with those influences or, or impacts um, or experiences and best manage for the benefit of everyone around me and still live with that level of positivity, happiness and joy. Um, and that's what I want to bring to the table here. So it's, it's important for me that you understand that there isn't just one or two or three, you know, other things that have happened in my life. And I feel that is something that applies to a lot of people, you know, certainly people I know uh, around me. Um, and, you know, quite often the way we're shaped and the experiences we've encountered do mould who we are. And I think the more we understand that and the more we take responsibility for that and deal with it and, and find a way to mentally model to suit that, the better. Uh, and I'm desperate to help and support you. Um, so let's talk. Click on that consultation button. I can't wait to speak to you. Thanks.